Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Systems of Video and here today bring us the best four features and plugins inside Photoshop. So today's video, I know the number five looks way better than number four. However, there was a scenario where just like there's not generally that many really good plugins and I don't want to do fillers. I wanted to absolutely just pick the prime and just best ones ever possible that I can think of and just hopefully you guys can use them every single day. That's the point, that's the play. Um, because I could have just filled this video with random plugins not worth it no one wants that and i just think photoshop and plugins don't really have a good name because there's so many you know, crappy like filler ones the whole point of these videos hopefully you don't feel that and you guys get some really cool outlook on really cool uh, plugins and features and that's the play here so if you guys would actually let me know in the comment section down below maybe they can have a really cool plugin that's not featured in today's video that you really think is generally really good let us know maybe we're gonna look it up maybe we're gonna try it out and just that's that's the play here but if you guys are new to today's video please be sure to subscribe if you guys are new and uh please leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video at the end and that's it enjoy and i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right guys, so I'm actually going to start off this video by giving you guys the most prime and best absolute features to have inside Photoshop that should actually be on the first time you ever open up Photoshop. So hopefully guys, maybe if you don't know them, if you have never been in preferences, by the way, inside Photoshop, you probably didn't even know about these things. So here, let me show you guys. The first one is a more of an aesthetic move. Now on Twitter, it became a pretty big eye opener that a lot of you guys didn't even realize you're not on dark mode. So if you've actually never changed your settings yet, yeah, you're, you're definitely not on dark mode yet. So under edit, Preferences, Interface, the color theme you want to have selected if you guys want to choose Dark Mode will be the first block. That way, now your Photoshop is actually in Dark Mode. Now, within the same settings that you're in, be sure to go to the File Handling tab. And below where it says Automatically Save Recovering Information, change that to 5 minutes. That way you guys can get way better save recovery files if you're someone who just actually doesn't save a lot. But for the record, the way to fix that is actually press Control S, just please, that's all. Now, additionally, you should also look at the last setting under the file handling and change the most recent file lists to 99 files. Default, I believe, is like 15 or 20, but now if you guys love to use recent file tabs like I personally do, you can see your most recent 100 projects in the actual tab. It just makes it way more quick and easy. If you guys know your project name, you can just click on it and get going. Now, there's actually one more thing I would like for you guys to actually do. If you guys go to the tool tab and look for the setting over scroll, over scroll actually allows you to open up other tables like layer styles and actually move your canvas behind the layer settings. That way you guys don't even have to move the layer style itself, you guys just move the canvas behind it. For some of you that might be a lifesaver, for most of you guys you're probably just like I don't really care, but it's just something I thought I want to add in for you guys. Alright, so now for the first program I want to show you that can help a lot of you guys out, especially if you have only one monitor, it's called Pure Reef. If you guys design in programs like Illustrator and you're like me and you like to have a mood board essentially like in the non-designing space, well this program is one of the coolest things for artists if you love to consistently look at your mood board in your direct vision while keeping your canvas free of visual clutter. It's one of those things that I thought Photoshop just needed to like have, I just don't know why. If I want to post it outside the canvas just let me do that, you know just like that's my choice, I feel like I should have that choice, but yeah. In the actual settings, you can have it set to always on top and copy and paste pictures you find for inspiration inside the Pure Reef canvas. You can also save, zoom out, and rotate your images. Combining this program with a screenshot service like Lightshot, where if you press the print screen button on your keyboard, you can quickly copy and paste process shots or inspiration right on your board. It's a program I feel like you guys don't know that you really need until you need it in that kind of case. I used it for about six months now, I really, really liked it. I loved it even more on my laptop screen, but hey, if you guys wanna use it, I would definitely give it a try, give it a download, and if you just have one screen, it's one of those necessities. Trust me, you don't know until you know, promise. Okay, so next up is an actual plugin for Photoshop known as Stock Solo. This plugin is actually super straightforward. As someone who really loves searching for textures and objects using their designs, I always sit away from third party plugins for Photoshop image search like directly inside. However, my usual reason was based on the actual images being from a specific website. But this specific free video image search plugin, it takes from sites like Pixels, Pixel Bay, Adobe Stock, and my personal favorite being Unsplash. I think it's a super awesome plugin to have for productivity and simply just handy for people who just have few monitors. So, following Stock Solo is another plugin known as Icon 8. Like for me, I use this to grab some really cool icons for stream panels or just some cool social media logos for like stream screens. It honestly comes pretty handy with the different styles and colors to choose from and a lot of different like icons themselves. It honestly has helped me prevent the idea of just downloading the same sort of like Twitter logo like seven times until like the eighth time. Remember, you can just like search your download folder. If that's just something that you do, I mean, this would probably be really good for you, but otherwise, it's still really cool to actually have based on the actual styles you can actually choose from. Personally, it's something I'm going to be using a lot for 2021, just to save me that extra tab on Google. 
All right, guys, that's the end of the video here today. So with that being said, I do hopefully I hold my bargain, right? The fact that I picked and cherry picked the absolute best plugins possible that I think you guys can generally use, like I said, every single day. That's the plan. That's the point. Um, but yeah, like I said before in the beginning of the video, please be sure to like leave a comment down below of any cool plugin that you might be using that you know you would like us to be noticed about. Um, uh, but yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today. Talk to you guys later. Says so HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud, guys. Later, much love, peace, and enjoy your day.